Yo, yeah, what's up guys? This is uh, Brian. I'm um, here with uh, my second video. Um, right here I'm just using a 7 uh, mechanical pencil. And right there I'm just showing you what I use on a daily basis. I just use this, what I have in here. Some Sharpies, some micro pins, or I don't even know how to say that. But jelly rolls and and this right here is uh, I'm using a uh, Winsor & Newton um, watercolors from Hobby Lobby that I got a while back and I'm using also illustration it's for uh, illustration and I'm, it's usually for dry media usually I use mixed media but yeah right now I'm just drawing Jason and I just want to talk about Inktober which is coming up in about like a a week or two and the official rules are all you have to do is make a drawing in ink post it online hashtag it with inktober and inktober 2017 and all you have to do is repeat every day of october and that's it and uh yeah i'm gonna participate in it i'm probably gonna do a theme of like horror classics and Universal Monsters. <laughs> so each that was my brother. Uh, so <laughs> each day, I'll uh, I think I might post one once a week because these videos are pretty hard to do, and with editing and all that, and then drawing and. I don't think I can do each one every day, but I'll probably do like once, one per week during the day of, during the month of October. So, uh, yeah, this painting, or this, uh, painting that I'm doing is just, uh, leading up to October. I, I wanted to make something dark, and I've never drew, drawn Jason before, so why not? Uh, experiment with it and see how it turns out and yeah I was using watercolor and you're not supposed to use watercolor on this dry media paper so I just taped it down so the paper wouldn't uh, pop up or bend and then I just smeared some on my hand so I used the napkin but yeah I can't wait for Inktober. Uh, I know I don't sound excited, but I am. I'm real mellow, so <coughs> try not to get too excited. <laughs> but uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, Inktober. I'll probably make a list, and I'll show it in probably a coming video. Probably like the end of September, I'll make a video on that. And if y'all want to follow mine, that'd be that'd be cool. Or if you have your own list, you can post it in the comments below, so I can see what you guys got, and maybe I'll use one of yours. But uh, yeah, right here I'm just making the background black. I really like uh, a grunge effect and sort of paint drips. It's not really paint drips, it's just like lines, but it gives an effect that it is. And I'm just using that white gel roll to uh, make the highlights. And yeah, this one was a challenge because I had to record it and I felt like pressured. <laughs> because it was like a video and I wanted everything to be perfect, but not everything's perfect, so I mean, just go with the flow and learn, learn from it. And try to get better and then there I'm just using masking tape right there and if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, it's at ribs08 and I'll put the link below if you can follow me on Instagram and I will be uh, soon making an art account on there also so I'll let you guys know, know as soon as I can. And right there I'm just adding some more effects. Make it look 
sort of like realistic and crazy scary. Hopefully it's scary enough. Just adding some more highlights there. And I think I use everything. I use like marker, color pencil, watercolor. <laughs> And I also use acrylic paint with the with the blood that is coming up. I think, yeah, there it is. I totally suck at spouting blood. Blood. I'm still practicing, so maybe I'll get better. And then I just use the acrylic to make like a big blood spotter, or like sort of like a grunge effect, right there. And then yeah, that's it for the video. Oh guys, I'll see you guys at Inktober and stay tuned for more art videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like the art. Alright guys, see you guys later. Peace out.